Yo, this your boy Double Up, and I'm back with another uh, uh, banger. And today I got to get into that boy Wack 100, man. I guess that boy Rowdy Rubble dissed him, man. And he just had an interview with Adam22, you know what I'm saying? So I guess he's going to ask him what he think about it. You know what I'm saying? Before we start the video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. But we about to get right into the content. Let's go. I had uh, Roddy Rebel on here yesterday, and he made it clear that he does not want to piece it up with you, and he kind of... Fuck you, fuck your weird ass mama, fuck her mama, and fuck oh, her mama's oh, mama. Man. Now, nigga, keep it on. I don't know who you think you playing with, little bitty ass guy. You don't count. You ain't sold a record. You ain't relevant in the rap game. Motherfucker, all we know you from is being signed to another motherfucker that don't fuck with you no way. Weirdo. Bobby? They're that's signed. all we know. They're from. not signed. They were just rapping together. Yeah, don't right? worry, shit. That's what we thought. We don't know dude from nothing else. We were pressing him hard to try to figure out what is going on with his friendship with Bobby. Bobby ain't fucking with that because Bobby built his relationships already prior to this bozo, right? And then you come say some shit he did was right. Because when he said that, he should have thought about Bobby right before he said some dumb ass. But I feel like you were the first one to really be like going at Bobby, calling him Zesty or whatever. No, listen. And, and therefore, your hate of Roddy Rebel has to kind of extend from that. No. Listen, I'm just being real. I'm being real. Um, I mean, that boy Wack 100 going off. How you guys feel? You know what I'm saying? He really going out talking about F his moms and all that. That's just crazy. All I be saying is like. When, when is these people gonna meet up? You know what I'm saying? Cause it just be internet stuff. I don't know nothing about this internet stuff. I, you know, I'm, I, I react to stuff and all that type stuff. But I'm not gonna say nothing crazy about nobody and then don't want to see them. Like, cause white be saying some crazy stuff. I want to know how you guys feel. Drop it in the comments. Let's get back to it. The dance is zesty. Any motherfucker come from where we come from gonna say the same. You know. And then when he said, "What's wrong with a little zest?" He said he learned how to do that in prison. So I'm really hearing that crazy. Anybody did time, like, what the fuck you mean? What, what, where are you at in prison? What part of the yard? Who was in your cell? Who's in your pod to where you're practicing the hula hoop and the drop it like it's hot and the bojangle with? It's with hard for you to imagine them dancing like that in prison? I'm not imagining. I mean, do you feel like that boy Bobby uh, Smurda is zesty, you get what I'm saying? He do be doing a little dancing moves, but, you know, I think he just be having a good time, you get what I'm saying? A lot of people that's goofy like that and dance around, they really do something to you, but I want to know how you guys feel. Drop it in the comments. Let's get back into it. None of that. Because if you do that in nigga cell, we going to blast you. You do that in nigga pile, we going to stomp your ass out. You not doing no sh like that, all that old top For of me, shit. I go the back you talking about and I, I i saw a clip the other day from the breakfast club interview that they did with bobby schmerder before he got locked up and holy he was not ready to be on camera at that time he was straight up out the hood didn't know how to talk on camera super super tough attitude and now when you see him he actually seems like comfortable and happy and he's chilling and i i, I like his energy more and I'm, look, let me tell some of you rappers out here some of you ladies too <laughs> listen if y'all gonna go get my and your teeth done stop going where you going and letting them put that just over your tooth because you look you're looking like mm. see see that's how you're supposed to look nice and flush you motherfuckers is looking like gorilla mouse mm. <laughs> and then you is too white they do be having some with some teeth. cocaine white teeth like what the f you doing bro you spending all that money to look like a clown Wow. You got to pick the right size. No, no you got to shave your teeth and then put them on there. Mm -hmm. You got to go to the right fucking dentist. These like motherfuckers, is, they already got buck teeth. Then they putting the white teeth over the buck teeth and they closing up the gaps and they looking crazy. W would you take a girl with... I ain't going to lie, White 100 got a uh, point. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who he's speaking on. I think he might be speaking on Bobby, but them veneers be looking crazy, man. How you guys feel? Drop in the comment. Let's get back to it. Kinda two big v veneers versus a girl with just straight up jack teeth. Jack teeth. Really? Wow. Because I can correct that. Jack teeth just read as like meth addict at no, this point. Bro, I'm not. And listen, it's not fair, but listen, it just feels that what way. What are you going to do with a chickly mouth bitch? Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking oh, about. Man, like, little ass teeth, and there's too much my space man. between listen, the teeth. It looks like the teeth somebody didn't grow. Somebody got jack teeth. All you got to do. 
take it to the spot and get her hooked up. If they got big ass teeth, she already, you stuck with that. You can't do nothing about it. A girl took a picture with me the other day and it was like one of those weird situations where the girl was like 21 or whatever. And she's hot. And I'm looking at her and just thinking, Hold on, man. You like 40, pushing 50. I want to say you like 12, 45, and you talking about a 21-year-old is hot as crazy, and you got a daughter. Like, weirdo. Let's get back to it. Like, damn, if you were my bitch, I would get you new teeth. Day one. Ladies. <laughs> like, if you were my bitch, I could br I could take you from a 7 to a 9 just with some new teeth, this girl. new teeth. <laughs> I mean, you know, your man got to invest in you. And that's the investment within yourself. Yo, you like my new ring? I do like it. It says whack. Got the hundred on the side. It's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? How much you spend on that? Uh, my man Chris Jules. Mm -hmm. K-R-I-S. Yeah, zoom in on that mo. Comparator going to come take it. Yeah. That. I'm waiting to whack a mother. You hear, you hear uh, Adam22 trying to stare at some stuff talking about Comparator going to come get it. Man, this dude is a, <laughs> a piece of work. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's elevated. You like those bars? I, I threw a compa for you. Yo, and when I see compa, I'ma probably rob. That was hard. That was hard. I should have said, "Come that get your hard. watch back." Yeah, you, we should have gave you the watch for the video. Oh, we should have gave you the watch for the video. I, is that real? I mean, is that real? The homie got it. Damn, I didn't know. Watch. <laughs> they got. It. Honestly, my beef with compa is pretty minimal in real life. I just had to throw him in there. I don't. I don't actually give a. F but man that's the end of that man i want to know how you guys feel man that boy whack 100 started talking about that man mama and all that type stuff they really be crashing out on this no jumper stuff it's always some drama man i want to know how you guys feel man drop it in the comments but until next time ah, i'm out